Hello, I'm Ederson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for dnnhere.com. In this video, I'll be talking about how you can add Google AdSense to your .NET Nook website. So for the sake of example, what we're, we're going to try to do here is we're going to try to add some ads, some Google ads in the right side of the top area here in our .NET Nook website. So in this area, on the right side of the logo, we're going to try to add some ads. Now, a couple of recommendations from, from Google, actually. Uh, you should avoid uh, adding more than, than three ads, ads area to, to the same page. So I'm not sure if this is a technical requirement, technical limitation, or if it's just good sense because just imagine uh, one page having more than three different Google AdSense added to it. So it will be more about ads than actual content. And the other thing that you should consider is from a user point of view, you should avoid overdoing that. You should avoid putting too many ads. It will, it will basically annoy your audience. So you should think about that. But now let's discuss this from a technical point of view. So let's go to our Google Analytics, uh, sorry, our Google AdSense account. Uh, I have created two ads already here to test ads, and I'm going to go through another one. So from my Google AdSense account, I can click on create a new AdSense unit. Then I'm not going to explore these ones. I'm just going to explore AdSense for content. And I'm going to create an ad unit and it will be text ads only. So it will only show text, it will not show images. So I'm going to continue here. Now I'm not going to go through each and every aspect here. I'm just going to quickly select in a horizontal banner at the top that I'll be putting at the top. Not going to play around with colors. I'm just going to leave everything as default. Now at the very bottom, I'm going to click continue not going to explore this part as well. You can feel free to explore this, but our main goal here is how to put this code from AdSense into our .NET Nook website. So I'm just going to skip this, click continue, and I'm going to save this as new ad. So submit and get code. So here's the code. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to copy this code, just right click and click copy. Now I'm going to my test site. And I'm going to log into the back end as super user. I could log in as admin as well. Now, in the home page, I would like to have a look at the layout to see if there is any banner in the right side of the top area in, in this skin. So I'm going to flip to layout mode. Now, there is one, and it's called Google AdSense Pane. I was the one uh, creating this pane, so I have added the, the default .NET Nook skin, the minimal extropy does not have this pane, I have added. I have another video that I will link from this video that I will show how we can add more panes to your .NET Nook uh, skin. So I have added this pane. In the case that you have an out of the box installation of .NET Nook, you will not see this pane. Again, I have added myself this pane. You will only see this at the button. Now, I'm going to go back to edit mode. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the Google AdSense to this pane. What I'm going to do there is I'm going to click on edit. And at the top, I'm going to select HTML module. And I'm going to add it to the Google AdSense pane. I'm going to click on add module. Now, from here, I could be tempted to go to the action menu and to go to edit content. But because the AdSense code is a JavaScript code, if we're going to add that to the content, and if you go back there many times after that, you may, uh, the, the editor may get rid of the content automatically, and you don't want that to happen. So instead of changing the content for this, this text HTML area module, I'm going to add the code to the settings of the module. 
and from the settings I'm going to expand advanced settings and I'm going to paste the JavaScript code into the header section of my module of the text HTML module. So I'm going to paste this here. I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to expand page setting. Actually, I'm not going to do this right now. I'm just going to paste the code and I'm going to click update. Now, it should be showing up here, but it's not showing yet. Let's have a look at this page uh, as a regular user would see it. So here I have uh, the same page loaded in Internet Explorer. So I'm just going to refresh this page. So there's nothing there yet. So the first thing that we have to do here is we have to go to the content because right now the module is set without content right now. So let's add it content. And I'm going to to delete the the temporary the, the note content that is there and I'm going to save this. Now let's go back to Internet Explorer. Let's refresh this. Now I can see that the module is here because I can see the title, which I don't want this title, but I'm going to show how you can get rid of it. And I can see something that says web page cannot be found. Let's go one thing at a time. First of all, let's get rid of this title and the print icon and the maximize icon, minimize icon at the top. Very simple. I'm going to go back as admin. You're going to go to the settings of the module and we're going to go scroll down, expand page settings and then allow print uncheck display container uncheck and collapse expand display none so let's update this and let's go back and refresh internet explorer to see how the end user would see this see now the the title in the maximizing print are gone and i can see the ads at the top okay now if by any chance you are still seeing the message that uh, page not found is just because Google needs some time to uh, refresh their their AdSense and then eventually it will get displayed. So initially, as soon as you create the ad unit in uh, Google AdSense, you may not be able to see your ads, the ads coming up right away. So you may have to wait a few minutes to up to a few hours. I, I have read about people having to wait a few hours. So this is simply how you can go about creating and setting up uh, Google AdSense on your .NET 2 website. You have to have, of course, a Google account, sign up for Google AdSense, and then add the script to the header section of the HTML text module. This is the way I approach this. This is the way I like uh, adding scripts to, to pages in .NET book. Okay, thank you very much. And that's it for now. Bye.